hello beautiful people so welcome once again to my youtube channel so today's tutorial will be how i created this beautiful gorgeous booboo -boo gown so if you want to learn more keep watching and don't skip any parts so this is how the dress look on my clients so the materials you'll be needing are listed on the screen above so pause the video so you can view them properly so let's get straight into this tutorial so the first thing first is for me to take the length so i've already cut the back and the front together so the length of this gown is 45 you can go as long as you want so and um, the shoulder part of it i'll divide the shoulder by two which is seven that's 14 divided by two give me seven so i'm going to be adding the shoulder so for the shoulder line i'm going to add 10 more inches which will be 17 inches for the full length so that extra 10 inches will be for the sleeve is a cut together um sleeve so i'm going to be adding more 10 more inches to it so that's what i'm going to do so after doing that nice was to take our vertical lines so from the shoulder to the bust point of this client is 11 because she's busty so i'll be using 11 inches so i'm going to mark the 11 inches then rule a line so next is to take the um waistline so the waistline for this client is 17 inches so i'm going to do that mark my 17 inches so from the waist now i'm going to take my measurement to the hip from the waist to the hip for this client is 7.5 is the top person use 9 inches or 8 inches so i'm going to label this as my shoulder line the bust points the waistline and the hip line then the full length of this gown so i'll label this so now after taking my vertical lines now it's supposed to take our horizontal lines which is circumference of the bust so my bust is 46 divided by 4 which is 11.5 so i'm going to be using my uh, measuring tape to do the division because i feel it's more accurate than using calculator so i always use my measuring tape to do this so I'll divide this by 4, then I'm going to add 4 more inches allowance to this because I want it to be very free on her, it's a booboo -boo gown, so I want it to be very free. So I'm going to add 4 more inches to this, add 4 more inches to this, so it should be a free, free and big gown. So I'll take my waist measurements, I'll do the same thing, I'll add 4 more inches to the waist measurements then for the hip i'll take my round hip circumference then i'll add the same thing i added extra four more inches so the gown will be very free on the clients so i'll do this then i'll go down straight to the end of the dress so it's going to be the same thing had four more inches to eat so it will be very free on the clients so i'll mark this and add my four more inches allowance to this so i'll nice for me to connect all the lines together so i'm going to do that but before then i need to take the opening of the ham o so the opening of this ham o is going to be 10 inches because i want it to be very wide so it's going to be 10 inches so i'm going to mark my 10 inches so this 10 inches line i'll connect it to the bust point like this just give it like a curve you can see me doing in the video so now after connecting to the boss point then i'll connect to the waist part I'll use my ruler so i can get you can use your free hand then from the waist i connect it to the hip to the hip line then from the hip line i'll connect it to the um down part of it so i'm just going to do that using my ruler you can use your free hand if you want so i'll connect this straight up so after connecting next is to cut so i'll cut this out follow the lines that I, I connected so after doing that i'm going to remove the back part so this is the back part i'll remove it I keep it one side so we can focus on the front part because the front part is the part i'll have the design so this is the cashmere i'm using you can, i'm using the cashmere you can use doll face any material you have so this is the cup chain i'll be using and the stones this is a big size stone this is the cup chain i use 1.5 yards of this 
so i'll keep this separate so let's get straight so this is the cashmere material i'll fold it into two then go down by 20 inches that's how long i want the cashmere to be on top of the ankara fabric so i'll be cutting two of this but if you don't want to cut two of this you can just fold it there are two methods you can use but me because i'm going to be folding it i don't want to fold it so that's why i'm cutting two pieces so i'll place this um cashmere that i've cut place it on top of the ankara why i'm doing this is because i want to get the exact neckline so i don't make mistake so i'm going to place it on it mark the neckline you can see so i'm going to mark the neckline so i can get the accurate neckline the cashmere has to match with the neckline of the ankara so from that neckline i'll go for the shoulder parts i'm just going to add five inches outward from that neckline so you can see me doing so i'll add five inches the purpose of doing this is for me so i can be able to create that um, design i want at the front parts so that's why i'm adding more to this for the shoulder line so i'm just going to create my design i want you can use any design you want any shape you can make it square you can make it oval you can make it love shape you can make it circle any way you want it just try and be creative with your own design so after cutting it now after um creating my design i'm going to cut it out so i'll leave one point i'm sorry one inch sewing allowance because i'm going to be cutting two and fold it into two so be careful when you are doing this part so you don't cut the ankara too so as you can see in the video i'm just going to cut it cut it out I'll cut the other side too I'm just doing it gently still leave one an inch sewing allowance if you don't want to do this method i'm doing you can just cut one of these then fold the edges so for the neck part now because it's not going to have a zip so it's going to have an opening at the front so for the front i'll go down by four inches or 3.5 but use four inches neck opening so i'll mark that then i'll be sewing it together with the ankara so this is how it's going to look so now i'm going to join it to the other part and sew two pieces of this so after sewing the two together so this is how it's going to look so i'm going to give it a proper ironing to smoothen it out so you can see how it came out so i'll place it on top of the ankara fabric and so so after sewing it i've sewn the ankara and the cashmere together so you can see how it came out i sew the cashmere on top of the ankara so this is how it's going to come out so this is the cup chain we'll be using so I'm just going to draw my design. You can be creative with yours. Draw any design you want. You can draw a straight line, squared, whatever design you want on it that will follow the cup chain. So I'm using the candle gun. But at the end of the day, I didn't use this for the cup chain because it was too the mouth was too wide. I didn't have the small size. So I'm just going to show you guys a sample of what I'm going to do. So after placing the gun on it, on the gum on it, so I'm just going to trace, follow the lines and place this cup chain on it just as you can see me doing in the video so that's how it's going to be so i'm going to be using the b6000 gum so those this so these are the stones i'll be using i'm just going to be placing one on each one on it as a design on the material but i'll be showing you guys how i did one of it so this is the sample of what i'm going to do so this is the b6000 gum gone glue that i'm going to use so i'm just going to show you guys how i placed it so i'll be placing it at the back of the cup chain then gradually place it on the line that i've created slowly follow the lines gradually you have to be careful so it doesn't shift like that place it on the fabric so that's that so the next thing i saw me to show you how i did the how i placed the stone so it's just an easy step you just replacing it one piece one piece one piece on it on the fabric one by one you place your glue so i use the candle gun to do this because the mouth of it fits with the with the stone so just going to place a little piece of this and i'll place it on the fabric just like that you can see place it on the fabric so that was what i did to all the sides of this so now it's for us to place the back and the front together so this is the yoke 
for the back so i'm going to place i want to cover the shoulder line because i'm not going to use a weaving machine so i want it to be covered so this is the front and this is the back this is the back of it the wrong side why this is the front side so i'm going to place the front side on top like this then for the back for the front i'll place the front on it like this so remember this is the right side this is the back so i'll place the front on it this is the back of the front this is the front so i'll place them like this together and make sure they align we're facing the front side why this is the back side of the front so they face each other right wrong right wrong then join it together like this so this is the yoke this is the yoke so the yoke will be the back of it so it's going to be inside so it's going to be the back of the yoke or the right side of the yoke and we place it like this it's over this is the wrong side so this is the wrong side of it so by the time you flip it over to now be the right side so now i'm going to use a pin to secure this and take so i've pinned the shoulder parts here and i've pinned the shoulder parts on the right hand side so if you watch closely you see that at the neck part i only join the back the yoke of the uh, the yoke and the back neckline together so by the time i fold and turn it inside out this is how it's going to look so you can see the neckline has been sewn so this back side is open so when you are sewing it you after joining the shoulder part you won't join the back and the front shoulder together you only join the yoke to the back so you can see the front side is not joined just only the back and the front you join together like this so you take to the same machine and sew like this sew the neck parts of the back and the yoke then you sew the twist parts of the shoulder so the yoke the front shoulder and the back shoulder so by the time you flip it over like this it's going to look like this so you can see it's already forming so by the time i sew it now you see how it's come out you can see the shoulder is no longer showing so let me take it to the sewing machine and run a stitch so i'm done sewing it you can see the shoulder joining is not showing but if you don't want to do this method you can just go ahead and join your yoke to the back then you join the back and the front together and you take it to the sewing machine for them to weave it but I'm, i don't use a weaving machine that was why i use this method so if you don't use this method just do the normal way join your back and the front together and take it to a weaving machine to weave it so i'm done doing that sewing the back the front together so this is how so this is how it's going to look so now it's for me to join the sides together so i'll flip it to the other side and then go join the back and the front parts together so after sewing this is how it's going to look this is it on the mannequin looking all beautiful and this is it on my clients she's looking so beautiful so thank you so much guys for watching thank you and i appreciate so please subscribe to my channel and please like this video when you subscribe you get a notification anytime i upload subscription is free thank you and bye